what qualified immunity does is it says, yes, there was a violation, this was illegal, this was unconstitutional, but the plaintiff still loses. UC Davis law professor Gabriel Chin says decades ago, the Supreme Court decided that police officers needed protections against unnecessary civil lawsuits when committing honest mistakes. The problem is not all mistakes are honest and yet they're still protected. Even police officers who have lied in affidavits for search warrants, people who have uh, police officers who have killed people without a, a very good reason, shot people, stolen things in the course of their duty. He says even with video proof, George Floyd's family is going to have a hard time holding accused former police officer Derek Chauvin accountable in civil court. Because what the courts look for to get around qualified immunity is basically a case that's very, very similar sometimes exactly the same. In other words, for victims or their families to sue successfully, they have to show that their rights were clearly established, meaning that there has to already be a similar case when in court. And that is what some see as a problem. We will never find out what's clearly established because of qualifying immunity. On the other hand, he says officers do not have an easy job. And this was the Supreme Court's original rationale. If they don't act, they could get fired or disciplined. And if they do act, they could uh, be sued. Legal experts and human rights groups are calling on the Supreme Court to reconsider qualified immunity for officers.